Hello friends, this video shows how you can migrate or move your website, especially WordPress website from one host to another host. So the process is really simple. If you follow these steps, you will be able to migrate your website without any issues. So ma mainly there are two steps over here, as you can see. First step is you have to take the backup of your existing WordPress website that you want to move or migrate. So you have to do two things in first step. You have to download this WordPress dash content this folder directory. And then in the second step you have to take the SQL dump file of the database for the WordPress website you want to move. So for that you can go to the control panel of your host. Very uh, wherever is your hosting provider, just go there and then uh, take the backup. So once you take these backups, uh, you will have these direct uh, folders like WordPress content and localhost.sql. So these are the two things that are required to restore your website or migrate your website. You don't need anything else. All right. So first step is done. Now let us on to the step number two. Before you do anything in the step number two, what you have to do is uh, first of all install sample WordPress on your new host. So go to the new control panel or whatever and install sample WordPress website. So this is web this website will be just for like you know creating templates, directories and everything. We are going to override everything in next steps. So once you install this WordPress, what you have to do is then you have to upload the new website content that is this directory and you have to also run the SQL uh, dump file that you had created in earlier step. For that you might need FTP, FTP account. So to upload the site content, you will have to connect your new host through FTP like just like how I have connected here, you can see. Or here there is a WP con dash content directory. So just open that one. And what you have to do is that this is my, uh, the one, this directory is the one that I have downloaded for uh, one of the website. So it contains these many files. So what you have to do is just, uh, just select everything and then move these files to on the right hand side over here. Then what will happen is that uh, files will be transferred from your local machine to the server. And you, here you can see I have already transferred the file, successful transfers, 5338. That is how you have to transfer the file. So th what this is going to do is it will overwrite everything like templates, plugins and your posts. So all your files are now on new server. Next important step is you have to update the database like you have to run the SQL that uh, we had downloaded. So this is the SQL that I had uh, downloaded. So all you have to do is you have to go to the PHP uh, admin like database admin or here you can see like this. First of all you need to find out the which database your server is accessing. So there are a lot of databases over here. So you have to find out like for your WordPress installation which database it is uh, referring to and you have to uh, click on that database for example this database is being used by my WordPress installation just go there and then you have to drop everything in that particular database so all these tables are there what you have to do is you have to check all and then drop all these tables because you want to remove all these tables so just click on yes over here and then all the tables will be deleted because you want to override the database as well. In previous step we have or uh, written all the files. In this step we are overriding database files. So right now I'm gonna uh, click on no because I don't want to delete it. All right. So all you have to do is uh, just go to the query and then execute uh, that command. Sorry SQL and uh, click on edit Notepad plus plus and just copy everything over here and then paste it there in here. And then what will happen is it will create new tables with uh, specific uh, prefixes. So right now you can see that existing prefixes are W0. So after running the query, you might get new tables with new prefix. So you need to remember that prefix. All right. So that thing is done. Next thing that you have to do is edit the WP config. This is very important. Otherwise you will end up with uh, errors like database connection failed or it will redirect you to the installation page when you try to access your website. So this is a really important step, WP config. What you have to do is, you have to go to your uh, website where you have written all files. 
and in the root directory you will find this file wp-config just click on edit and there you will file you will find like what is the database name what is the database user so whatever is database is uh, created you can put it there so right now I was using this database name and database user and password is this one here you can see there is one setting called as table prefix so here you have to mention the table prefix that was being used in that particular database if everything is all right then you can access your uh, website on the new host and you can also finally set the static home page for your main uh, like websites home page for that you have to go to the wordpress and then from the settings you can uh, co like configure this home page to the static page so all these steps you need to take if you have more questions like uh, related to this one let me know through the queries i will uh, definitely try to uh, give you the solutions